For us here in the coastal bin, our big scope of weather remains heat. So you can tell it is just so muggy, uh, so, so gross outside. We're going to continue to deal with all of this heat and humidity. You can see traffic flow is back open along SPID here looking toward Staples between Staples and Everhart. So that is some positive news. If you are headed to the beach, be ready for some heat right now in Corpus Christi. It already feels like it's 96 degrees. Wind is out of the south at 10 miles per hour. Our dew points 81. Ugh, yuck. Uh, we're above 80. That is that is just sweat continuing for days, right? So at the beach, it's going to feel like it's 106, 117 in Corpus Christi, Alice 115, George West, Beeville this afternoon. Uh, in your marine forecast, you may want to hop in the water. It's still on the warm side. We have had some cooler sea surface temperatures, uh, especially with some mixing and the dirtier water. It does feel cooler depending uh, on our beaches than you would expect, but it's still rather warm. 84 degrees our water temperature, south, southeast winds, 10 to 25 knots, choppy conditions in the bays with some breezy conditions as well. We are going to see low tide coming up this evening and then high tide will be early in the morning. So you'll notice the tide lowering as we head toward the six o'clock hour. So that low tide is going to be about a negative 42 feet there, uh, 0.42 rather, <laughs> as we head into uh, Port Aransas, uh, 87 degrees there as the tide is lowering. We'll near 94 high at the beach today. Wind will be breezy. We'll pick it up about 4 p.m., 19 miles per hour. 20 miles per hour, some gusts, especially out on our water, up to 32 miles per hour. So waves are running about four foot right now. We'll see them falling and then rising again as we head into the afternoon. Tracking the tropics, there's not a lot in terms of swell activity that's going to be taking place. What we are noticing is that Saharan dust, still a 50% chance of development there into the Central Atlantic and the Pacific. We do have Tropical Storm Calvin that has developed, but for us, we're watching that Saharan dust impacting Florida, portions of the Yucatan Peninsula. That's going to come up into South Texas Thursday into Friday, and then really Saturday and into early next week, so we're going to see some of the worst of this dust, so that makes cause some allergy like symptoms if you are sensitive to that. The wind coming out of the southeast with that high pressure over the Gulf centered that surface look high. So we're going to continue to see those southeast winds lighter into Sunday though. Some of the strongest wind will be today, tomorrow and into Friday and then temperatures fall just a tad Saturday, but they pick back up with more sunshine into next week. John Thomas.